Hello guys, welcome to my channel How to Learn. Today I want to discuss about topic response entity in Spring Boot. What is response entity? Response in entity represents an HTTP response which includes headers, body, status codes. Okay. Yep. These are the examples for status code. It can be 200, 202, or 404, or 500. And what are these headers? I'll show you. You can observe. These are headers. Content type, transfer, encoding, date, keep, allow, connections. These are headers. And 200, okay. It is my HTTP status code. As said, not only status codes and headers, but also body. You can observe here. It is the body. But what I am saying, by using response entity, we can return body, headers and HTTP status code. Here I am, if you observe, yep, I will show you guys. Just, uh, it is my CRUD operations project and uh, I want to show you something. I want to get data. Okay. I want to retrieve data from my database. Okay. And I'm, if you observe, I am not using any response entity here. I am just returning a list. Okay. And let's get our data. Okay. HTTP A0 get data. Yep. You can observe. I am getting some data from database. Okay. And I got response status code. I mean like status code to be 200. And some headers. Some bunch of headers. Okay, guys, please careful observe which content type, transfer encoding, date, key pillar connections are my headers and my status code is 200. But I want to use response entity because I want some custom headers and custom HTTP status code. Okay, yeah. Now I will start implementing response entity here. Response entity. Okay, let's Yep, it's finished. Now I want to return here response entity Response entity Sorry Response entity Dot as here If you observe as I'm getting 200 as my status code, but I don't want 200 I want to set it actually. I want to be as accepted. Okay. And now remaining things are just I want to create a reference variable for HTTP headers. H C equal to new HTTP headers. Okay, I want to add some header here I am naming it as demo header value okay and I just want to add it here headers sorry dot headers and my header is h okay and I want to return body now which is l Guys, you can observe here. L is my body. I mean that it is my data to be returned. Okay. Let's save our application once. Yep. Before that, uh, just send some data into my database because whenever I will refresh my database, my data will be managed. Okay. Just I am sending some data into my database and uh, I want this just modify it. Okay. Okay. Let's extract data from database. Let's see what happens. Guys, if you observe 202 is my status code, which is accepted as I mentioned here. Okay. And let's see our headers here. And you can observe my header if you clearly see demo and header value. My header value is added here. Okay. And my body, yep, there is no change in body. Before adding a request mapping, also I have written same body here, 
just my changes there in like headers and the status quo okay i think you guys got it and if you if you have any queries please comment it in comment section okay guys and thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my channel